The last of the Ten Commandments tells us not to covet. But let's see what happens if we dig a little deeper. Shalom, my friends. Yes, that is what I would like to talk to you about today, the Tenth Commandment, the one that tells us not to covet that which belongs to another. Now, let's get this out of the way right at the beginning. This doesn't mean you can't look at something someone else has and want one. It happens to me all the time. If I'm driving down the road, and somebody passes me in one of those nice brand new Corvettes, I think to myself, man, I wouldn't mind driving a car like that. Have I broken the Tenth Commandment? No, I, I have not, not at all. Coveting is much stronger than wanting something. In fact, the traditional definition of coveting is wanting something belonging to another so much that it could lead you to stealing, to taking it from them. Stealing, of course, is a, another one of the Ten Commandments, but not just anyone. There are commentators who have said over the centuries that all of the Ten Commandments, or at least a great many of them, are a form of stealing. Murder, you're stealing someone's life. Adultery, you're stealing someone's spouse's love and attention. But let's get back to coveting. One of the reasons the Torah prohibits it, let's acknowledge, is so that we don't fall into the trap of stealing things because we want them so badly. But here's what I would like to point out. Coveting can also lead to resentment of the other, of the person who has that which you covet. And I believe that that is forbidden by the Torah because resentment is one of the most destructive emotions a person can have. Resentment can destroy friendships. It can destroy marriages, relationships, families. The list is endless. Resentment is toxic and it can do great harm to our relationships. You know, I think one of the best metaphors for God is that God is a divine parent and we are God's children. If you're a parent, ask yourself this question. Does it not cause you great pain if you know that one of your children deeply resents the other one for some reason? Don't you ache to have that resolved? On the other hand, as a parent, if your children are close and loving and supportive of each other, does that not bring you great joy? I know it does for me, and I have to believe it's the same. For Avinu Shabbat Shemayim, the Hebrew for our Father in Heaven. And so, my friends, it is fine to see something belonging to someone else and want it, but keep it under control and avoid the trap of that destructive emotion of resentment. My friends, if you liked what I had to say today, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Just click on my face. There it is. Right over there. How about that? Or if you'd like to see the last video I released, click on its icon. Right over there. And until next time, my friends, Shabbat Shalom.